Just wait for a minute. Mm -hmm. Yes, MOCs can start. Set your goals high and don't stop till you get there. Quoted by Bo Jackson. Uh, Preeti, this quote reminds me of a very successful sportswoman from Bahrain. Oh, really? May I know who that person is? She is Sheikha Al Shaiba who's a modern day superwoman and always likes to enroll herself in various physical activities. Ha, ah, yes, I do know her. Her right arm got amputated when she was only 18 months old. She's an inspiration for many sportsmen. Just like her, there are many other eminent sports personalities from Bahrain, like Khaled and Mohsin Fali. Well, let's move ahead with our program so that we don't delay. Respected Chairman and Managing Director, Mrs. Elizabeth Joseph, Director, Mrs. Lovie Joseph, Members of School Management, Principal, Mrs. Molly Mammon, Vice Principal, Mrs. Elizabeth Southern, Leadership Team Members, Teachers, and my dear friends, a very warm and wonderful morning to one and all. This is immense pleasure to in welcome you all to our assembly. I, Preeti, and I, Sri Lakshmi, are privileged to be the masters of ceremony for today's event. Today, we all have gathered here to celebrate Bahrain National Sports Day. The Bahrain Sports Day was approved as a national event organized every year and involves all segments of the Bahrain society. Its principles aim to motivate people to work out and install the culture of sport as a healthy lifestyle. It is also a move that aims to promote the principles of community sport and expanding the number of participation in different activities to assert the famous proverb, a sound mind lives in a sound body. May we all rise and be in one mind, body and spirit as we praise and thank our almighty God for all his graces and blessings through our school prayer, followed by our school song, Lead Kindly Light. And we bow your heads and get ready for the prayer. Prayer before class. Father, we thank thee for the night and for the pleasant morning light, for rest and food and loving care, and all that makes the world so fair. Help us to do the things we should. To be to others kind and good. In all we do, in all we say. To grow more loving every day.
See the bright opportunity in each new day. Every day may not be good, but there is something good in each day. We would now like to invite Dona and Alina to present the thought for the day. To uncover your true potential, you must first find your own limits and then you have to have the courage to blow past them. Quoted by Picabo Street. Good morning to everyone present here. Today I, Dona, and I, Alina, will be speaking on the thought, the sky has no limits, neither should you. Quoted by Usain Bolt. We must push ourselves to thrive in our lives so that we can achieve more, surpass the difficulties, at times stumble, and then rise prospered and be the best that we can be. Everybody admits the sky is the limit, but we must declare that the sky is not our limit, for there are footsteps on the moon too. The sky is not our limit, nor is the moon. We should have our limits set beyond the moon, beyond the sun, beyond what is scarce, because there is no abolishment in learning and in accumulating as much as knowledge as one can get. One can achieve anything in life. Even if the sky is a limit, we know this sky, being our limits can also be pushed back to infinite distances. Let nothing stop you from accomplishing whatever you want in your life. The sky is a limit means there are no restrictions on method or cause to achieve a specific outcome. This expression, sky is the limit, which is usually preceded by the article in both speech and writing, is used to say that there are no limits that anything is possible. As you know, a limit is something that bounds or strains, say a maximum amount or an age requirement. The sky is a vast boundless expanse that never actually ends. So saying the sky, which goes on and on and on infinitely is a limit, is saying that there's in fact no limit at all, or at least there's practically no limit. Nothing beats a failure, but right. To try new things is to explore. To explore is to learn, and to learn is to expand your horizons. It makes you diversified and not to be stuck in the box. The thought indicates that you can achieve anything that humans can reach beyond the bounds of planet Earth and enjoy limitless success. Marianne Williamson once put it this way, Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Be fearless, dream big, and be limitless. Man's potential goes way beyond the sky. You can achieve whatever you want to achieve with the right character, determined confidence, and with innovative ideas. If you think you can do it, you can do it. It's just up to you. Don't limit your thinking. Don't limit your doing. Challenge yourself to achieve greatness. Find your passion. Shake off any shackles that have been holding you down. Ignore the critics. Ignore the people who are envious. Especially ignore those who wish you ill. Don't be ordinary. Be extraordinary. Limitations live only in our minds. But if we use our imaginations, our possibilities become limitless. The sky is not the limit, unless you allow it to be. Now we would like to conclude by quoting Michael Jordan. Never say never, because limits like fears are often just illusions. Thank you. Thank you, Donna and Alina, for such an inspirational speech. Now, to know more about this special day, let us invite our physical education teacher, Ms. Bushra, with her presentation.
Exercise not only changes your body, it changes your mind, your attitude and your mood. We would now like to call upon the grade 11 physical education students to perform a few out workouts which can be done easily at home. Let's start with some aerobics. Aerobic exercises to do at home. These exercises can help you in weight loss, it improves your stamina and boosts your immune system and it is also good for your mental health. Friends, let's now move on to some warm up exercises. Warm up exercises are crucial to any sport or fitness training program. A warm up is any kind of activity, either physical or mental, that helps to prepare an individual for the demands of their chosen sport or exercise. Benefits of warm up exercises Warming up helps prepare your body for aerobic activity. Warming up may also reduce muscle soreness and lessen your risk of injury. In this video, we will show you three different kinds of warm-up exercises. Next comes the ball challenge. Good morning everybody. Today I would like to do the ball challenge clap and catch. So let's start. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Five. I made it. It was really good. Um, I really enjoyed it. I hope that you will also try it. Thank you so much. Hi everyone. Today I am going to do a ball challenge by clapping hands. Hello guys, my name is Sam Tom Shibu and I'm going to be doing the ball lion cat challenge. Uh, so I'll, I'll just do it now. Uh, now I'm going to start. Thank you. 
Thank you everyone for this wonderful set of exercises. We would surely try performing all of them at home. Sri Lakshmi, do you remember our games and PT periods? Yes, of course, Preeti. We would have so much fun. And I really, really miss our playgrounds and obviously our physical education teachers. So let us now enjoy a short video prepared by our PT teachers. teachers for that amazing video. Let us now watch a short video on how the Asian school has celebrated Bahrain National Sports Day this year.
Now, to know more about the special day, let us invite our physical education teacher, Mrs. Bushra, to speak a few words. Good morning to you all, director, principal, vice principal, teacher, and my student. Today we are celebrating Bahrain Sports Day for the fifth year. Bahrain Sports Day is celebrated every year in the, the second week of February, and this day was devoted to going sports activities, with half of the day working and the other half of practicing sport. Our target of celebrating the Bahrain Sports Day is maintain our health and our body strength. The logo for Bahrain Sports Day. When was Bahrain Sports Day celebrated for the first time? The Kingdom of Bahrain separated Bahrain Sports Day on February 13, 2017. Today, I can't think of a sport that's not available in Bahrain. Our motivation towards Let Us Run was to encourage beginners. We don't leave you behind. We're a team and we wait for everyone to finish. We all stretch together. We gather. We became friends all through Let Us Run. The F1 is one of the biggest uh, events we have in Bahrain. It brings all drivers from everywhere over the world and all of the people there are coming to watch the F1. So it is a pleasure for us to have the F1 in Bahrain and everyone knows that we have a wonderful circuit. If you want to get into sport, we have all kinds of sport. There's a lot more to do in Bahrain. You can do horse riding, you can do triathlons, you can uh, go on the beach and do water sports. Bahrain is surrounded by two seas, so everywhere you go you can find the beach. So many different activities that are available for Bahrainis and expats and anyone who would like to visit us. There is nothing that you can't do in Bahrain. After our run, we sit around each other, we have tea, we laugh, we joke. Um, it brings us together. Yes. Brings us closer to each other. Yeah. In terms of sports. <laughs> Today, I can't think of a sport that's not available in Bahrain. Most famous sports in Bahrain. Football. Saudi Arabia strutted out for the Gulf Cup final full of confidence. They were, after all, ranked 33 places higher than Bahrain in FIFA's rankings. Were chasing a fourth Gulf Cup title while their opponents sought merely their first. And they'd already beaten Bahrain less than two weeks prior in the group stage. Convincingly at that. The Saudis certainly started the brighter 
striking the crossbar after barely three minutes. And in the tenth minute, they coaxed Bahrain into giving away a needless penalty. But that was when the confidence began to shift. Yep, Saudi captain Salman Mohammed Al Faraj could only graze the angle. And from there, Bahrain had the better chances. Until the 69th minute, when Mohammed Saad Al Ramahi got the final touch on a superb team move. And that's how the score would stay for another 30 minutes. Bahrain holding off a late onslaught until finally, after 99 minutes of football, the party started. Bahrain regional champions for the first time ever. And to think they were going to boycott the tournament due to a diplomatic dispute with the hosts Qatar, only to throw their names into the hat at the last minute. Now that's what you call a big victory. Thanks for watching. For more great content on all things football, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Handball.
والیبال اسمیس پلیر Let's watch a video about Sheikh Sheba. I didn't lose it. I gained everything in life after amputating my arm. When I was 18 months, I started my journey back then. It, was, uh, it wasn't easy, uh, especially when I was in school. Um, I moved on and then when I turned uh, to grade eight, I decided to accept myself. Thank you, teacher, for your wonderful presentation. Preeti, do you remember how we used to celebrate this day grandly at school? Of course, Sri Lakshmi, I do. Thinking about those good old days makes me feel really nostalgic. We will now take a trip down the memory lane of the Bharat National Day sports celebrations from the previous years.
for this wonderful video. It really made me feel sentimental. A well-educated mind will always have more questions than answers. We would now like to call upon Rishabh and Benita along with the dose of some quiz questions to refresh our minds. A life without sports is a life without fun. Good morning, everyone. Today, I, Benita. And I, Rishabh. We'll be testing your knowledge with some questions on Bahrain sports. Question number one. How many Olympic medals does Bahrain have? Option A, three. Option B, seven. Option C, four. Option D, ten. The correct option is option C, four. Question two. Who is this person? Option A. Maryam Yusuf Jamal, option B, Salva Eid Nasser, option C, Rukhaya Al Ghazara. Yes, the correct answer is option C, Rukhaya Al Ghazara. She was one of the first women to represent Berlin at the Olympic Games by taking part in the women's 100 meter sprint in 2008. Question number three Who was the first Bahraini GP2 driver? Option A, Sergio Perez. Option B, Rahid Rafi. Option C, Ahmad Al Farzan. Option D, Nico Halkenberg. Correct option is option C, Ahmad Al Farzan. Ahmad Al Farzan signed for I Sports International team to compete in 2008 2009 GP2 Asia Series, becoming the first Bahraini and Arabian driver to race at this level. Question 4. In the 24th Arabian Gulf Cup, Bahrain defeated which country to secure their first title? Option A, Qatar. Option B, Oman. Option C, Kuwait. Option D, Saudi Arabia. The correct answer is option D, Saudi Arabia. On 8 December 2019, Bahrain won the competition by a 1-0 victory against Saudi Arabia to secure their first title. Question number 5. When did Bahrain host the first night race for Formula One? Option A, 2012. Option B, 2010. Option C, 2014. Option D, 2016. The correct option is option C, 2014. The 2014 Bahrain Grand Prix was held at Bahrain International Circuit in Sakir, Bahrain. It was the third round of 2014 Formula One World Championship and the 900th Formula One World Championship event. Question number six. How many gold Olympic medals has Bahrain won? Option A, three. Option B, one. Option C, zero. And option D, two. The correct answer is option D, two. Ruth Chabet won the gold medal in 2016 for the women's 3,000 meter steeplechase. And Mariam Yusuf Jamal won the gold medal in 2012 for the women's 1,500 meter race. Question number seven. What is Bahrain's national sport? Option A, horse riding. Option B, basketball. Option C, football. Option D, hockey. The correct option is option C, football. Question eight. How many football clubs are there in Bahrain? Option A, nine. Option B, seven. Option C, 15, and option D, 10. The correct answer is option D, 10. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Rishabh and Benita, for those quiz questions. Let us now invite Nikita of grade 11D to present and update us on the new newest headlines. Good morning. News headlines, local news, Chamber praises pension reforms. New industrial area plan gets green light. Business news. Kuwaiti firms to set up leisure hubs and malls in Saudi Arabia. UK economy rebounds with record growth. Bahrain sports news. Carnival marks National Sports Day at Bahrain International Circuit. 
Bahraini MMA superstar Hamza Kuwaiji praises Sports Day initiative. Bahrain schools join National Sports Day celebrations. Thank you, Nikita, for having updated us. We would now like to call upon the head of the Physical Education Department, Mr. Om Prakash, sir, to speak a few words on the importance of physical exercise. Good morning to everybody. Now, I will tell you which things you are taking very lightly about the benefits of sports for students. Physical health and wellness. Physical activity is necessary for students to satisfy their biological and physiological needs. Exercising provides an opportunity to be physically active in a constantly changing world. Sports participation reduce the chance of obesity or type 2 diabetes, which is generally associated with a lack of physical activity. Student, students not only gain an outlet to relieve the stress, but also to improve their mental health Overall, students learn leadership and teamwork skill, time management, student athletic, learn to balance busy schedule on a constant basis. Improve your mental health and mood during exercise. Your body release chemicals that can improve your mood and make you feel more relaxed. This can help you deal with stress and reduce your risk of depression. Different type of exercise falls into five main categories. First, aerobic. <clears throat> Strength and flexibility. Breathe harder and build your fitness up. Second, strength building, balance training, endurance, moderate intensity, exercise, vigorous exercise. Let us all join hands and get involved physical activities in which make us energetic and enthusiastic in facing this, our demand, our demanding world. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your amazing words. Now, to warm our hearts with hopeful words of inspiration, we would now like to invite our beloved principal, Miss Molly Mammon, to enlighten us with a few words. Ma'am, please.
and please unmute. And please unmute your mic. Yes. Okay, once again, good morning to the teachers as well as to the students on this happy occasion. I'm so happy to see uh, the beautiful sports program well you know, organized, thanks to the organizers, the, the PE department, the teachers, the various teachers, uh, beginning with Om Prakash sir, Simi ma'am, Simi teacher, and uh, Rajir sir, Arun sir, of course, how can I miss him? Uh, of course, he is also there. A big thank you to the organizers, including, of course, I, we mustn't forget our activities head. She's always instrumental in seeing to it that it is carried out. Let's give all of them a warm hand. Okay. So <laughs> congratulations once again, beautifully organized. And it is a reminder, the day is a reminder of uh, the importance of sports, okay? And how essential physical activity is to the body. Uh, Om Prakar sir has just enhanced the thought. Let me also add to it. Uh, I begin with a quote by the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. Vaccines spread hope and spectators begin to return to arenas. The world of sport has crucial contributions to make in forging a safe and sustainable recovery. We will play and cheer again and everyone is safe from the pandemic. Okay. Yes, I missed out Bushra teacher. Uh, and the other teachers, in, the PE teachers involved in the junior section also. I'm so sorry. A big thank you to them also. They are also included uh, in our appreciation, in our uh, applaud. We clap for them also. Okay. Congratulations, Mrs. Bushra and the rest in the primary section also. Well, it was indeed a grand program. I read to you the quote by UN Secretary General Antonio. Well, sports has the power to change the world, I must say. It is a fundamental right, a powerful tool to strengthen social ties and promote sustainable development and peace, as well as solidarity and respect. Through our unique individual skills and collective power, we can come together and share creative ways to improve our health and well-being through sport and physical activity, even from the confines of our own homes. We were just talking about the grounds lying waste, how we used to enjoy seeing your runabout. Now we can see that it is devoid of any of you, of any of our students, no activity is going on. It's so sad. Let's pray that the pandemic period is over and children are back. We too enjoy taking part, participating in sports and such activities. Let's have the sports day back. Let's have uh, uh, a lot of running and playing about. That's what will, which will, that is what will bring life to the school, the grounds. Well, by celebrating sports day, uh, we give an opportunity to recognize the role that sport and physical activity plays in communities and in people's lives across the world. The COVID-19 pandemic has placed a spoke in the wheel of our enjoyment of coming together for sports. But we hope and pray for an end to the situation so, uh, so as to bring normalcy in life and that, that uh, we enjoy sports and physical activities once again. Sports can help in the effort to build back be better relations to a more resilient, resilient and equitable world. It helps learn fairness, team, team building, equality, 
inclusion and perseverance. So let's hope and pray that we have sports back again, that coming together happens again. Today, we are so careful that we don't come together, that we are not close. So what all hindrances, how much it has deterred relationships. It's only when we come together that we build better relations. So let's all pray for an end to the pandemic, to our old life once again. Happy Sports Day to all, to each and everyone. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for those motivating words. The strength of a team is each individual member, and the strength of each member is a team. Quoted by Phil Jackson. Starting always has an end. Now, we too have reached the end of our assembly. Let us wind up our assembly with the national anthems. Okay. Oh. Yes, I mean, Sandhya, why do I call you Sandra? I'm very okay. <laughs> <laughs> enjoyed our assembly. I thank all the participants and teachers for dedicating their time and energy for making this event a grand success. I would finally like to thank all the audience for spending their valuable time with us. Thank you 